Hello and welcome back to Creating Game of Life with Ruby. Um, in the last video we kind of went over the concept of how to create a two-dimensional grid for this world object and now we're going to actually implement it. Um, we're going to um, create this two-dimensional grid in an instance variable inside a world class. So um, let us first create uh, a test for uh, testing that instance variable which is the same as this before just as uh, just uh, it isn't respond to columns but should respond to let's call that instance uh, variable cell uh, grid okay uh, and let's run our tests and the tests fail because it doesn't respond to cell grid that's try with the other accessor cell grid and it is passing now okay um, and let us uh, define this cell grid and the initialize uh, method uh, so at cell grid should be those two dimensional arrays that we were uh, making earlier so array dot new and as the first argument is the number of rows um do that is the row uh okay um and within that we're going to create a second array um which is going to have as much elements as there are columns and this is a call let us end this so we do not get confused and this is going to return something um, but for now let's just keep it like this so let us run our, our spec and it is passing and so let us test uh, it let us test the cell grid uh, instance variable it should uh, create proper uh, cell grid on an issue okay it should create proper cell grid on initialization so subject cell grid um, let us test if that is an array so is a array should uh, be true ok so let's test that first and that is true uh, and uh, since we have written test after we have written our code let us just erase uh, comment this out and on our our test here and as we can see we expect true we expect it to be an array but it is false because we have commented this out and if we c if, if we um, write this again the test should be failing um, so that is that uh, so the cell grid is initialized and let us um, just specify so uh, now we know that this is an array but we should also test for if this is an array also so how to do that we should uh, do that by um, testing like this subject cell grid h do um, a row and 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 a uh, row is a array should be true okay now the test should be passing and indeed it is passing and uh, once again we have um, written the test after we have written the code so let us just comment this out and run our tests and they are failing and now when we have written that again they are passing so that is that. So now we have tested that th both of these arrays are uh, within a cell grid are actually arrays. Okay, so that is kind of good. And uh, what we remember from our sketch earlier is that um, this cell grid defines cells within that cell grid. Okay, it doesn't make any sense if it doesn't define some kind of a cell uh, class within it. So we should have something like this approximately within that cell that new okay this is stating that each row creates a new array 
with columns and each column creates a new cell. Okay, and now when we run our R spec specs, we get a whole bunch of errors saying that there is an uninitialized constant world cell. Okay, so now it is a good time to start implementing this cell class with TDD. So let us create a cell class. First off, um, it isn't within this constant context of a world, but it is going to be in a new context called cell do and uh, subject is going to be a cell cell <laughs> sorry cell at new um, it should create a new cell object do and okay let's run our specs one more time we also have the same error on un uninitialized constant world cell and let us just focus on this particular uh, spec uh, this spec under the line of 33 and the way we do that we just specify colon and line 33 and that is passing okay it's passing because it is empty okay so subject uh, is a uh, cell should be true and this should fail as uh, we expected because there is an uninitialized constant cell. So right back in our basic file uh, now is a good time to create a new class called uh, cell and see if uh, our spec underline 30 through 33 passes it does if all of our specs pass they do pass. So right now let us recap what we have done. We have um, created a world class uh, created a cell grid within that world class which is accessible under uh, world.cellgrid and that cell grid consists of two arrays an array within an array um, and that array creates on each of the elements of a second array a new cell object and we have tested it uh, and uh, that is pretty much uh, what we have done so far, which is pretty good. Uh, now I've seen that we have this test that tests if that row is actually an array. So that is uh, this part. And now we should test if that column also uh, creates a cell object. So row is array should be true. And we should go for like row each do column okay and call is a uh, cell should be true let's go there and yeah so that is that is passing let us just comment this out to see if we have written our test properly it turns out that we did because if we put this back in the test should be green um, this is kind of a messy spec now when I think about it, uh, but uh, hopefully you understand it um, because we have um, written it step by step. So uh, yeah, that's it. I pretty much think it can be refactored, but I'll leave this as is for now. Okay. Uh, so that is basically um, it for this video. Uh, in the next video, I have no idea what we're going to do. I think we're going to expand on this cell object and then try to begin to implement the rules of the game the four rules that which we went over so thank you for watching see you in the next video